Last week, I told you that while I like the concept of natural pet food as a play on the increasingly health-conscious consumer, at the time, there was no decent way to play the group as all the stocks seemed too expensive, including Fresh Pet, the maker of the fridge and dog food you see behind me. Since then, Fresh Pet stock's been slammed, and after the company reported what some people considered a disappointing quarter last night, both top and bottom line, it initially plunged more than 19% to an all-time low at $11.70. However, the initial reaction to Fresh Pet's results may have been too negative, given that the stock mounted a big reversal like the rest of the market, ended up closing down just $0.87. Cents. Still, the stock's off about 20% for the year and has fallen from $25.92 at its peak to $13.73 now. Has Fresh Pet finally come down to levels where it's safer to buy? Why don't I take a closer look with Richard Thompson? He's the CEO of Fresh Pet. Hear more about the quarter and where his company's headed. Mr. Thompson, welcome back to Mad Money. Thank you, Jim. Okay, it's been a roller coaster. All right, the stock got a big move. Insiders did just be able to sell a big slug at 21. It's come down. What gets you to profitability? What is going to make it so that the bears, who have leaned heavily on the stock, right. have to cover or maybe admit that this is a good concept that's now profitable? We'll get to profitability. But you have to, everybody has to remember, we're a growth company. We're disrupting a $25 billion category with innovation. And with that innovation, we are, we are doing, we're taking big market share uh, from our standpoint right. in this big category with fresh refrigerated, all natural food with no preservatives. So everybody just needs to let us do our thing for a while because the idea is, is to continue to grow where we are. We, we beat the growth uh, guidance we had and we beat the uh, adjusted EBITDA guidance that we put out there. So we feel pretty good about where we are. Well, I mean, at the same time, I mean, look, I, my pushback is, is that uh, you, you can't let them do what they want to do in the, in the face of a public stock because think about what's happened. A lot of people have lost money. So I'm coming at it from the perspective, like, uh, what would make it so that there's a sustained path back up? And it's clearly not just growth, or else the stock would be back at 25. Right. But we, we're executing the plan that we have. Okay. So the, the plan that's been on the table when we went public, we're executing it. We're beating it in almost all the aspects. So everybody's got to do what they've got to do, and right. I can't, I can't do, help them there. But we are executing the plan. We feel good about where we are. We've got great manufacturing assets. Uh, we got a great team on the field. We got great products. Matter of fact, our product is so great you can ask any dog in America about Fresh Pet except yours, right. and uh, that this is a great product. Yeah. Well, that's okay. My dogs could be out, Lars. Yeah. Um, all right. So we know that new product has to uh, be a, a generator of, of, of great sales potential. A lot of people are asking about dry food. Right. Fresh, dry food. This yeah. is not like beignets or uh, Kaiser rolls, right? No. I mean, this is something special here that no. you're baking. You've got, you've got some right here. This is what we call our fresh baked. Okay. Is that uh, we entered the $17 billion category because a lot of our consumers and customers ask us to. Which it, you knew better than anyone because you were a major player. Yeah, we were a major player. So the, the fact is, is that we found that half of the people that use fresh refrigerated food mix it with a dry kibble. And so we thought, well, why don't we at least keep those in our... Uh, portfolio and not let them flirt with other brands. So we've launched this, as you know, we told you right. uh, last time at Target, and now we've rolled out a Target to another several thousand uh, retailers between now and the end of the year. So we're going to spend about three and a half million dollars to uh, invest in that, if you mm -hmm. will, for the future, because going into 2016 is that we think that we can have a big play in this area as well as this area. And you mentioned cat food for the first time. Cat food. Is that, uh, we come from the cat, cat food background, right. as you know, and so we've been thinking about how we want to do it, because when we do, we want to do it right. So we've had a few hundred retailers. We've been uh, testing cat products to come up with a cat portfolio. So in the fourth quarter, we'll do a little bit more than 2016. We'll roll out some coolers. Uh, to some retailers that really want it. Smaller ones, but Smaller not, ones. Not, not the same one. Not, more not. space in each place, though. Yeah, so we'll free up some space here. So we'll right. have more uh, space here, and then we'll have a cat cooler uh, in the cat aisle. It's kind of like we're going to fish where the fish are. Right. Now, I mean, you know, there was that social media viral mold thing. I, you know, I mean, you make a lot of fresh food. It, it, it could have been anybody, right? Yeah, it, it, look, we make fresh food. We're doing right. something. We're disrupting a... You know, a $25 billion mark with fresh refrigerated food. And uh, uh, there's some friends out there that uh, made a big deal out of it, but it's nothing. It's, it's, it's just nothing. It's, we're, we're, we're good. Nothing's changed with the business. We're solid. Well, you know what I was thinking here, Richard? The big volume today, maybe you shook out the people who expected profitability and went back to the people who like to see 30%, 40% growth. Because that's what, if this takes off, you're going to be able to deliver. Well, we're, well, you know, we had 39% growth last quarter. Right. So but you said that, but you did say that was, you know, I mean, there was a quarter before that that had to step up. Yeah, but, but I've always said from day one, 28 to 32% growth. Right. 28 to 32% growth. So we're beating what I've been telling everybody uh, since we 
we started this program here. So I can't, I can't point a finger, and I don't think you can either, at any pet food company in the market that's going at 30-plus points. No. You know, so look, I, I, I think we're doing pretty darn good. I think good. the stock got expensive, and now the stock's not expensive. Exactly. And therefore, I think that people who like growth and want pure growth and believe that pets are treated like people. Kids. Yeah, like And people. I think it's going to work. Yeah, well, that's, oh, that's Richard Thompson, the CEO of Fresh Pet. Go read the call. Hey, listen, maybe you're, uh, if you got a pet, might not give it a try. Stick with Kramer.